Kelly Marquesio with the City of Jacksonville Recreation and Parks Department. I'm here at the skate park over at the Jacksonville Commons, one of our facilities. I'd like to touch base today on our events coming up in September. Our first one coming up is the Walk with a Dock. Walk with a Dock is a new program coming to Jacksonville where you have an opportunity to walk with a doctor, talk about health related uh, issues, risks, symptoms, all along a mile pace, a small mile walk where I'm um, asking questions, interacting with the doctor. We're gonna, our first one starts on September 13th over at Waterfront Park. And um, from there on, we'll have one each month. So be sure to check that out on our website or give us a call. Another program we have going on is our Movies in the Park series. This is a free movie in the park over a large screen. Uh, we have concession stand, fun, family fun activities, and a great free event for you to come spend your Friday night with us. The next movie is September 13th, which is Ratatouille, and we have one following that on September 27th, which is Disney's Brave. We'd love to have you come and check it out. Another program we have coming up is our Miniature Golf Challenge. This is a really cool program because it's similar to a golf outing, however, it's a miniature golf outing. Uh, participants will be paired up and they'll play all 18 holes. We're going to throw in some contests and some mini games for prizes to win throughout the, uh, throughout the tournament. And then at the end, winners will win uh, trophies and different prizes if they're uh, first on the Miniature Golf League. The Miniature Golf Challenge is $20 a person. It's going to be held on September 21st. Bus leaves at 7.45, so you definitely want to get in on that. Today I would like to talk to you about some cool events going on in October. Our first is our Captain's Crusade, which is a scavenger hunt, but instead of a typical scavenger hunt, it's all based on pirates. So you're going to text your way to the next clue and solve mysteries while digging through treasure chests. This cool event will be held at Kerr Street Rec Center on October 4th from 7 to 9 p.m. Families can show up for $5 per family, um, $5 per family of four, or an extra dollar for every family member after that. Be sure to check it out on the city website at jacksonvillenc.gov. Another event coming to Jacksonville in October is the Haunted Family Night. This is a Halloween alternative where you can bring your kids out to see a movie in the park. We'll be featuring Igor. We're going to have some lawn games. We're going to have a costume contest. We're also going to have a carved pumpkin contest, so be sure to bring your carved pumpkins along with you. This is a free event where you can go trick-or-treating after the movie. It's going to be held at Kerr Street Ball Field on October 19th from 4.30 to 10 p.m. We'd love to see you out there and celebrate Halloween with fun, fun family activities. Be sure to check out our website at jacksonvillenc.gov for more information. I'm Spider Pilon. I'm with the City of Jacksonville Recreation and Parks uh, Athletics Division. I want to talk to you a little bit about our youth basketball program. Registration will begin October the 1st and it will continue to run through October the 25th. That's for ages 5 to uh, 15 and the registration price for city residents is going to be $30 and for non-city it's $55. If you're interested in becoming a youth basketball coach, we're always looking for coaches. Uh, please see me or contact me at 910-938-2538. We started a, a new basketball program two years ago. It's a five and six year old program. Uh, for five and six, we do play co-ed, so it's going to be boys and girls, uh, but it's great. The kids enjoy it. There's no score. It's, it's a lot like t-ball where it's developmental, so the kids really enjoy it. The parents have fun and the coaches enjoy teaching the kids. Uh, then for our boys, we have two-year age groups, so we're playing uh, 8U, 10U, 12U. And then uh, for the high school age groups, we do do a 15U program. Um, for the girls, we have uh, three-year age groups, so it's, it's uh, seven, I'm sorry, nine U, uh, they play 12 U, and we don't usually have enough for our 16 year U age group, uh, so we're really looking to try and push to get those girls out here, um, possibly get a, a 16 U age group, so uh, all the girls that, you know, all you girls that want to come out and play basketball, please show up and sign up. We also have a Halloween Skate and BMX Jam. This is the first year that we've actually combined the Skate and BMX Jam. BMX Jam is going to be right here at the Jacksonville Commons Skate Park. That's going to be October the 25th. The registration is going to start at 5 p.m. and the actual event is going to run from 6 p.m. to 10 p.m. Uh, there's going to be food, there's going to be prizes, uh, there'll be music by DJ Rai Rai, and uh, bring your costume because there's going to be a costume contest test as well. The City of Jacksonville will be hosting and the Bicycle Gallery will be sponsoring. 
Uh, the registration fee is five dollars and uh, just come out, bring your elbow pads, knee pads, and your helmet and enjoy the fun. I'm Mike Wetzel. I'm with the Jacksonville Recreation Parks Division. Uh, today we're going to be talking about some exciting things we've got coming up for adult programming. So on uh, Friday, September 13th, this trip is geared uh, mainly for the seniors. It is a mystery trip. We'll be departing the Jacksonville Commons Senior Center at 9 a.m. and should be returning about 4 p.m. That cost is $20. Um, we don't tell you where we go. You load the bus uh, and then we just take you to a uh, site, um, usually within Onslow or a neighboring uh, uh, county. Uh, then on September 14th, there is the big Onslow County Senior Expo. Um, we are a co-sponsor with uh, AARP and the Onslow County Senior Services on that, and that is 9 a.m. to 2 p.m., and that is being held out at the Onslow County Multipurpose Complex out on Richlands Highway, and that is also free uh, to the seniors. The last week is a very, very busy week for us. Uh, we've got three major trips uh, pr programmed. On Saturday, September 21st, uh, we'll be departing the Senior Center at 11 a.m. and we're going to be going down to Wilmington to visit the Hollywood Movie Walk. You know, Wilmington is basically um, nicknamed Hollywood East. The cost of that is $32 and we'll be visiting some of the sites where a lot of uh, programs, uh, TV programs and movies are, are filmed. Uh, then on Tuesday, we're going down to Little River, South Carolina. It's Senior Day on the Sun Cruise Aquasina. It's a gambling boat. Uh, it's Like I said, it's down in Little River, South Carolina. We'll be leaving at 7 a.m. from the Senior Center. That cost is $47, and that does include your, your trip there, your lunch on the boat, and that. And then we, we should be getting back around 8 o'clock that evening. Uh, the last trip we have planned, this is basically for the adult programming. Uh, it's a zip line adventure trip. It's in Fayetteville, North Carolina. Uh, it's on Saturday, September 28th. The cost is $120. That includes your trip down there, your, your ticket for your zip line uh, adventure, and then the, the bus ride back. We'll be leaving at 12.30 that afternoon, and we'll be arriving in Fayetteville uh, at about uh, 2.33 o'clock. Then we'll be zip lining till about 5.30. Uh, six o'clock and then we'll be coming back about 930 that evening. Uh, you can find out more about these programs and what we have coming up in October by visiting our website or by calling the Adult Services Division at 938-5318. Hi, my name is Becky Sanford. I'm with the City of Jacksonville Recreation and Parks Department. I'm here to talk about the Teacher, work, teacher Workday program. The Teacher Workday program is during the Teacher Workdays where the children have school off. We offer a quality child care program just for you. The program is for ages 6 to 12 and it's held at various recreation centers from 7.30 a.m. to 6 p.m. We offer really great field trips for the kids as well as day programs where they stay at the recreation centers. The first field trip is October 14th. They're going to Mike's Farm and the kids that are at the day program, they're gonna have the theme Pumpkin Patch Kids. So it's gonna be a great fall theme. They're gonna have a lot of fun, do crafts. Uh, there's snack time, they have time for lunch. They have a lot of fun there. There is also a teacher workday program for teens ages 13 to 17. These are trips that they go on with qualified staff members. It is from 9 a.m. to 4 p.m. The first one is October 14th, and they're going to Strike Zone. So you can bring friends and get ready to have a lot of fun, meet new people, and go bowling. There's also Camp Out Carolina, which is a fun, free family event. It's very popular in the Jacksonville area, and it's held at the Kerr Street Recreation Center. It's October 11th to 12th. It starts at 6 p.m. There's a lot of family-friendly activities, including s'mores, bonfire, hot dogs, and there's also tents available to rent if you would like on a first-come first basis. And if you would like more details about these programs, you can go to our website at jacksonvillenc.gov or you can call the administrative building at 910-938-5312. Welcome, I'm Kathy Dieger Mayer. I work for the City of Jacksonville Citywide Services Department and 
My basic job is to coordinate instructors to teach classes that you would be interested in. Our first class is gentle yoga where you'll learn basic yoga postures, positions, and exercises. Um, it is available every Wednesday and Friday morning from 9.15 to 10.15. Our next class is Zumba with Cassandra. It's a cardiovascular exercise program that's easy to follow where you dance to Latin American music. Uh, the class is held at Northwoods Rec Center on Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday evenings from 6 to 7 p.m. We also offer a Zumba with Nikki. Um, that's over at the Jacksonville Commons Rec Center. It has, it has the same basic techniques, but that's on Tuesday and Thursdays from 5.15 to 6.15. Nikki also offers a Zumba party on Friday evenings on the second and fourth Fridays monthly from 7 to 8 p.m. This is also at the Northwoods Rec Center. I hope you can join us for the yoga and the Zumba. It's a great experience and it's a time that you can exercise and have fun. Yep. For more information, call us. Thank you. Mm -hmm.